does it feel so cold inside my heart tonight? Be my man is what she said. It's not just the wind that's moving around tonight. But quick and clean, don't make it right. Hey guys, I'm out here on my own today. Glenn is uh, unable to join me, but doing something a bit different and we're in a park today. Well, I'm in a park today. Um, got some new gear from Tiger Stainless Steel and Detective Gear, so keen to test it out, see how my new digger goes, and um, yeah, keen to see what we find. Haven't done many, haven't done many parks. Um, don't like a lot of people around, to be honest. There's a few people around, but hopefully they don't give me much trouble. Um, yeah, keen to see what we can pull up. Hopefully we get a couple of coins, but um, yeah, I'll show you how we go and hopefully we get some good finds today. Cheers. Well, I literally um, just turned on the machine and we have a bit of a target here. Jump around a little bit, but I'm um, going to dig it out and see how we go. See what we can pull up. Alright. First target today. Thing is in the plug. Let's see what she is. I'm doing this one, isn't it? 14, 15. Just when you think it's in the plug. It's not. Ground balance. Thanks, Jim and ads. Second target for today, another 13, 14. My bet's a pull tab. Bottle cap. See how we go. Jesus, ground is hard. Even for this thing. Luckily it's not deep. Pull tab. <laughs> Find number two. Literally, just filled fill my plug here, right there, and here. It's got another signal. Looks like it could be a five cent piece, but it's kind of jumpy as well, so. I think there's quite a bit of rubbish around here. It looks like I can see some surface finds as well. So I do think um, this, play, this park hasn't been hit before. Um, we'll see how we go on this one. Alright, got the plug out. Alright, on this 
side. Looks like we've got something there as well. Doesn't sound good. Go with it then, I guess. What have we got here? Bottle cap. Oh, bottle cap. Tagger number three. So it wasn't in the first plug, so I got the second plug out. And just a bit of metal. Nothing exciting. Find number four. Hopefully, we get a, at least one coin. No, oh, this is jumping around quite a lot. We're popping around 17, 18 mostly. So, this is target number five. Let's see what we got. I don't think I can see what we got. We got a bottle cap. Surface find. Target number find is a surface find. And a piece of aluminium foil was right next to it. Alright, well, I'm on to target number six. And got a solid 13 in the plug. Put the pinpointer out. I can already see a piece of foil here. Get rid of that. Not counting all my surface finds as finds, so this is up to number five. Okay. Maybe it's not in the plug. Haven't got it out yet. Hmm. Unless it's really, really small. I'm still saying it's in there. Pinpoint, I won't find it. Oh, so the pinpointer off. <laughs> Rookie error, guys, but the mine lab equinox tells me it's in there, and there we are. So, what is it? Just looks like a, just a piece of metal. Still no coins, but. Cleaning up the park, making it a safer place for the kids. Wouldn't want to step on that piece of metal. Number five, another piece of metal. Just pulled this plug out here and this is sitting at the bottom. Another little aluminium pull tab. Going great on the pull tabs today. Find number six. Find number seven already. Oh, what do you know? Another little pull tab. Well, 
Alright. Target number eight. It's a it's jumping around a bit, but I think it might be a five cent coin. Might have my first coin of the day. Let's let's dig her up and have a look. Alright, I've got the plug out. Yep. It's still in there. Let's put another dig. I really need two hands to dig with this because this is great. But I do need two hands. Very hard to dig and hold. Hang on guys, I'm gonna get this plug out. Alright, it's in this plug. What have we got? Please be a coin. Not another pull tab. Huh. Not even a pull tab, it's just a bit of wire. Oh, I'm having some luck today. Glenn, where are you? Come and give me some of your luck. <laughs> Find number eight, piece of wire. And same hole. Got another target here. A little piece of wire out the way. What is it? Oh, another one of those piece of metal. Looks like from a can or something. Old style can, pull tap thing. Oh, that's number nine. Not looking good, guys. Well, this is target number 10. And as Andrew, the coffee bush kid, would say, very happy with something in the mid 20s, so can only hope this is something that's gonna make you guys smile. <laughs> Alright, we'll see what it is. Let's get it out. Well, I think it's in the plug, unless it's underneath the plug, but um, numbers still jumping around a bit, but let's see what we got. Get the pinpointer out. Right there, another dig. Bear with me, I need two hands. Alright, so I just got the plug out. Oh, it's not in the plug, it's still in here. Ten is a very old permanent marker. <laughs> there you go, guys. That's my uh, first park adventure, inspired by ads out and about for this ten target find, and thought I'd give it a go. Unfortunately, no luck today, but um, please got out there, good to get some exercise and have a bit of a swing, bit of a dig, so all good. Hopefully we can come up with the goods next time. Cheers, guys. All right, guys, I'm still going because it won't be near half hour and I thought I'd just keep going anyway. And I'm pretty confident this is going to be a junk ring, but I have not found a ring yet with my Equinox 600, so I'm pretty bloody excited, even though it's probably a junker, but um, I don't, oh God. I think it's actually gold. <laughs> no way, I just saw a stamp. Can you see that? What is it? Five, seven, 575? 14 carat? Jesus, or is it 9925? Actually, nah. It's uh, I think it's a silver ring, guys. I think that, that'll be a 925 there. But hey, I am ecstatic. That's awesome. 
interesting color, but um, hey, happy days. I got myself a ring. I'm wrapped. What a find. Thank you, mother, for the ducks. Well, that is going in my detected power on this carbine. Look at that, get that sorted out. I ain't losing that one. There we go, look at that. First ring. I'm right. There we go. That's in the, uh, the good finds. Good finds back. It's pretty empty at the moment. That's all right. I'm right with one ring, but uh, that's made my day. That has made this day a successful hunt. And it was just underneath here. Just there. And it was another, it was actually a 14, 15 target. And I thought, oh, this is going to be another pull ring. Um, Cause that's all I've been finding around here. But bugger it, you know, I'm here, I'm detecting. It's a beautiful day. I could almost take my jumper off. And, um, I thought I'll dig it up and happy days. Silver ring, I'm wrapped. Cheers, guys. I lost count of the amount of finds I got now, but uh, another bit of wire, and I was just flinging my uh, pin pointer across the surface here, and I came across another target, and I thought, oh, <laughs> I had to laugh when I saw this. I thought, geez, Bill from Digging SoCal, he'd be wrapped with another tent peg. It's, uh, Got a bit of character this one it's kind of like a smiley face put a smile on my face when i saw it thought of you bill cheers guys <laughs> this one's jumping around as well but it's 20 so i thought it'd be a good one Wait. I think it's it's still yeah it's around here. Oh, a little coin! Look at that. First coin of the day. I think it's a two dollar. Yep, two dollars. Oh, well, halfway there to my coffee money for today. Looks like it's been there a while. 1989. It was produced. Yeah. Hmm. Happy days. Two bucks. I found the two dollars here and I've got another target just on the surface here. So let's see what let's see what we have here. So I can just oh, yeah, a little deep. target. Hopefully it's another coin and it is a coin. There we are. What do we got here? Ten cents. My day is improving. Silver ring and two dollars and ten cents. Happy days. A bit toasted. Can't really see a year on it or can barely see Queen Elizabeth but um yeah happy days. I'll keep going. All right, I've got another another target here. Fifteen, sixteen. It plugs out. The bloody mozzies are eating me alive. I can't believe it. It's the fourteenth of August today, and we're still in our last month of winter. But um, the mozzies are out in force. <laughs> <laughs> Good old pull tab. That's alright. I'm still happy. It's been a great day so far. A couple of coins and a silver ring. I'm ecstatic. Okay, just finished my uh, hunt for today. Uh, I thought I'd do a bit of a, a bit of a show and tell. So I've got quite a few targets today. Got one, two, three, four bottle caps. One, two, three, four five ring pulls like newer ones and then we've got one two three four five six seven older ring pulls 
a few pieces of metal, a few bits of aluminium, some more older looking ring pull tongues and a few nuts um, and screws, just random pieces of metal. This is a service one, I think it's rubber actually, some aluminium from Easter. Somebody left their marker and a good old temp egg that I won't be able to use again, unfortunately. Um, so that's all the shit. And then uh, the good finds, I've got a couple of coins, so $2.10, happy with that. And this is obviously the find of the day, this, this cool looking silver ring. I'm pretty sure it's handmade because these look like they've been, um, I forget the process that it's called where you like bang the metal with a hammer and that to, to get that effect. But I think it's handmade because even the stamp is a bit, it doesn't look like it's been you know, done by a professional. It's a bit, um, the 925 is a bit, just try and focus. 925 yeah, is a bit, looks like they've stamped it twice. But hey, it's a ring and it's silver and I'm very, very happy. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Victorian Gold Hunters. Cheers!